Now let's talk about a differential band break. So if you look at a differential band break, this is how it looks like. So you have a fulcrum over here and you have two levers. So this is more of a bell crank lever arrangement. So you have this force being applied P and right now it is moving in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, so if you take the moments about this fulcrum O, so P1 or P into L, that's the distance between this point and the fulcrum. Okay, plus T1 into A, so this distance is A. So P into L goes in that direction, T1 into A goes in that direction and this T2 into this B, this goes in the opposite direction. Okay, so we will have PL plus T1A is equal to T2B. This is what we had PL, T1A, T2B. So these two, this plus this is equal to this. PL, T1A, T2B. And this is true when the rotation is counterclockwise in sense. So this will give you the value for PL which is T2 minus, T2B minus T1A. If it is in the clockwise direction, then it will become plus. So make a note of this. Okay, so there is a difference between counterclockwise rotation and the clockwise rotation. Now, there is something called self-locking brake. For self-locking brake, the load or the effort required is negative or I would say zero. Why? What is the meaning of self-locking? Self-locking means, so right now it is not self-locking. Okay, let's assume that. So in order to apply brake onto this drum, I have to apply this load. So the operator has to operate the brake in order to stop the rotation of this drum. Whereas in the case of a self-locking brake, there is no effort required by the operator means the brake is not in control of the operator. So this means there is no load required or, the, or there is no effort required to operate the brake. That is called a self-locking brake. Means the band automatically grabs the drum and tries to stop it. So this is not desirable. Okay. So this is the condition when the brake becomes self-locking. Okay. So if this is the case, then for a counterclockwise rotation, you will have this condition that is T1 by T2 is greater than equal to B by A and that comes from this that is T2B minus T1A this is equal to PL isn't it so this would be less than or equal to 0 so you can take this onto the other, other side and you will get your T1 by T2 is more than or equal to B by A. So this is the condition which results in this particular relation. For the case of clockwise rotation, we will take this and write down T1B minus T2A, this should be negative or 0. So this condition or this relation would result in this condition. And always remember that the ratio of tensions in the bands will be equal to e to the power of mu theta where theta is the angle of wrap. So this is theta. Okay. So remember these mathematical formulas for the case of a differential band break. So band break is a very very simple topic. So we have two kinds of band break, simple and differential. So this finishes this topic on differential band brake and now let's move on to the next video and talk about the braking of a vehicle.